Well, Simon, was that a fair result tonight, a one-all draw? I mean, look, at the end, it's, it's, it can be nicked either way. You know, we're, we're obviously looking at the context of the game and, you know, the, that balance of, right, you know, the point or three at this stage of the year and obviously we want to we want to chase that three uh, and equally Dagenham in a really good vein of form you know probably I think they'd be um, would have expected a little bit more this year with with their group yeah. so you know we did expect a difficult game that potentially the you know could have gone either way tonight so probably on reflection they might feel they deserved you know a little bit more um, and we feel we rode a couple of storms and, and did have some really dangerous um, positional moments in the game but um, you know, in the end, the the point is probably a fair fair reflection. Actually, you talked there, Simon, about riding storms. Particularly, I think early in the second half yeah, was when yeah. you were on the back foot. Great character though from your players because they came back from that, started to you know be really aggressive, and you created some good chances. Yeah, we on. did. And um, you, you, as much as we want to win every game, so does our opponent, and um, and and that was really there to see tonight and I thought we, we had to dig deep, you know, it's probably it's a blow losing Paddy obviously at half time and you know with, with Tom Walker out and you know perhaps um, one or two areas of the pitch where we, we couldn't react to in a way in which we normally would have done and maybe that had a little bit of an impact on, on the structure of the game. Um, but look, the, the work rate and the effort in them moments to hang in there um, and stay in the game and then grow back onto the game. Mm. You know, I, I said to the players there, listen, credit to you and let's not forget, you know, fifteen unbeaten. Yeah. You know, we we are we are creating goal scoring chances and generally stopping our opponent and um, we're disappointed to concede on the set piece tonight. Um but you know that that is football and um, we have to dust ourselves down uh, and make sure we focus on what's been excellent and there has been lots of excellent and, and move forwards. I could tell I was watching you in the second half and you had your subs warming up but I could see mentally you were thinking actually no we're getting back into this yeah. and, and I don't really want to make the changes because the lads out there are actually at the pace of the game now. Yeah I think um, tonight it was a delicate um, situation in terms of you make changes and you're assessed on your changes and that that is that is important the type of changes you make and I did feel that we were going to grow back onto the game yeah. and, and that did pan out of course at the end it's a little bit of you know two in a throw in terms of both teams creating chances and the mm. game becomes tight and stretched um, but yeah as it as it grew we grew and um, you know as much as we're disappointed not to get that winner in the end not to get that second goal you know I think we have to focus on what was good tonight and it was lots of good and we are a resilient team and they are a resilient group in there and um, there's a few of them disappointed obviously because um, it's the game we wanted to win of course but you know we need to we need to stay in the context of the situation that we're, we're in a good place and, and we're doing a lot of good things and we just got to take that into Sunday now. You mentioned Paddy, it looked like he sort of turned his ankle, rolled it on this near touchline where we're, we're standing now, is that, is that your assessment, is that your understanding? Yeah, it, it looked a bit innocuous I must yeah. admit and um, obviously he's felt it so we, it's something we need to look forward to, um, it, we, didn't, um, we didn't want to take any chances with him moving into the second half and um, hopefully it's not too serious but we just got to wait and see. And you mentioned Tom Walker as well. It meant there was a chance for a, a full debut for Ryan Rydell, and he's got man of the match on his on his first full appearance for the club. How do you think he did? Yeah, for you know, as much as we lost Tom, and um, you know, he gives us that experience and that winger type in our winger type role in the left wing back position. I thought uh, Ryan come in and put some great balls in. He's got that energy that you you know young players give the game, mm. and I think he can be very happy with his contribution tonight. Good start for him. In terms of the, the bigger picture now, where do you where do you think this leaves us? Or are you not too concerned at this point with three still to play? Um, I don't think you know concern needs to be the right word. I think um, what we have to do, we have to find that balance of you know um, maintaining all the things that we're really good at because mm. you know it, it is easy to feel a bit downbeat after tonight. Um, but the game we have Sunday is almost the perfect bounce back game, yeah. a big game for us. Um, you know, it, it might turn out to be a really valuable point tonight. Tonight, you know, we've um, we're in the mix. We're where we want it to be. Our destiny is in our own hands. Mm -hmm. You know, as, as regards to getting out of the division, you know, there's there's automatic and there's the playoffs, and we firmly have our destiny in our own hands. And I think the run we're on, that's a real achievement. As you say, the top three is still in your hands, and and 15 games unbeaten. Nobody wants to play Stockport County at the moment, do they? No, but equally we can't make that you know a, a heavy burden on our back. The run's great, you know, and it does show that we've got real qualities as a team. We're resilient. We defend well. We create chances. 
Um, but we can't rest on that. And equally, we can't, you know, it's one game at a time. You know, the, the history, the, the run, the, that's great. It's all well and good. But, you know, we can't make it something that, you know, we absolutely mm. have to protect at the cost of what we're trying to do in attacking point of view. You have to find that balance of risk and reward. Um, so, yeah, look, I think what we can do is, though, we can be proud of what the players are doing. Yes. Yeah. Um, absolutely, uh, no doubt about that in my mind. And uh, we've got some players to come back into the group to keep that competition, that energy. And we can absolutely look forward to, to what's ahead of us. As you say, what's ahead of us is Torquay coming here on Sunday. Yeah. It's a game that doesn't really need much building up, does it? No. <laughs> Great occasion, TV cameras, it's all it's got all the makings. Yeah, it has, and it's um, you know, it's two teams that have, you know, had a, a really solid period in the season yeah. and, and the league table suggests that, so it's gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be a fine margins game as tonight was, um, and we'll be ready. I'm sure you will, Simon. Unlucky tonight, but uh, good result and keeps the run going. Fifteen unbeaten, well done. Pleasure, thank you.